everybody had a pleasant holiday weekend. Coming up in today's episode of The Play, a court ruling that could impact two Oklahoma power plants, an update on the city's quiet zones, and a look at Game 4 in the Thunder Spurs series, which is just hours away. First up, we could see a few more showers heading into the evening hours. The best chance for precipitation could be south central and southeastern Oklahoma. The chance for rain will linger through the rest of the work week and into the weekend. There's your seven-day forecast. Highs will be in the mid-80s and a slight warm-up expected over the weekend. Communities in eastern Oklahoma are under flood advisories. Areas like Fort Gibson received as much as three inches of rain in one hour on Monday morning. Flooding along a number of roadways include Highway 10. The Oklahoma and Silas Allen will have more on the flooding and how much the rain has impacted the drought situation in our state. In other news, the U.S. Supreme Court on Tuesday upheld a ruling that could mean costly changes at two Oklahoma gas and electric company power plants to reduce haze at federal parks. The high court declined to, re to review a case in which OG&E and Oklahoma Attorney General Scott Pruitt challenged the EPA's plans to cut down on power plant emissions. The electric company argues making the necessary changes at the plants could cost more than a billion dollars. Our Chris Castile is following the case. City and train officials here in Oklahoma City expect to complete a quiet zone for trains moving through downtown and adjacent areas by November of 2015. It will require the closing of some crossings and work to ensure that vehicles cannot weave through those crossing arms at other intersections so the train engineers will not have to sound the horn. Our Steve Blackmire reports the quiet zone will run from Southeast 29th up to Wilshire Boulevard. In sports, Game 4 in the Western Conference Finals will get underway in a few short hours at Chesapeake Energy Arena. San Antonio, as you know, leads the series two games to one. But as the Thunder's Kevin Durant pointed out during today's press conference, his team has been in similar situations. Just knowing that, you know, we've been here before and knowing, you know, how we responded. But also knowing that just because we went through those uh, those times, it don't mean it's going to happen again. You know, we got to go out there and, and play the game and try to take it. Uh, but just knowing that, you know, her, 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 you know, a couple possession can switch a series up. We'll see if they can switch it up tonight. Our sports team will be at the game along with our Damon Fontenot. They will have all the game highlights and analysis online at newsok.com and in Wednesday's editions of the Oklahoma. And if you can't make it down to Chesapeake Energy Arena, you can watch the game on TNT. These stories and more in upcoming editions of the Oklahoma. Have a great night, everyone.